The two-color Technicolor processing of the late 1930s was beautiful, and it still is beautiful. What you're watching here is a movie called Dr. X, filmed in 1932, and it's like this science horror film with crazy scientists doing crazy things, and it looks amazing. And although it's just two colors, you don't really notice it. You kind of just feel like you're watching a faded movie, but you don't really notice that all the colors are not really there, but you kind of do see them anyway. And it's like it's doing this weird surreal effect on my mind, and I just, I just like it. Of course we all know, I guess the famous, the most famous example is The Wizard of Oz that was shot on three strip Technicolor. So this is just like one step behind that where they, you know, they got, they got to two colors, or just, just one less of three. But the results were awesome, and I, I don't think it was, you know, really made to be like an aesthetic, although it really is an aesthetic, especially for this movie, and I'll get into that in, in a sec, but, but this is just the film industry's early attempts at producing color. So although it was just an early attempt at color and would eventually get replaced by something better once they came out with it, it's still something to marvel at because of just how awesome it looks. These colors are really dark and eerie, so it really works for this, for this science horror film, you know, with the crazy scientists doing the crazy things. It really adds to the mood because the tones just engulf the entire film. So it's kind of too bad that we're never gonna ever get this again. It's just, you know, obsolete and they don't make it anymore. But, but it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen and it was made 80 years ago. This 1932 movie impressed me more than almost anything that came out last year. This 90 year old color processing really left an impression, and not just for no reason at all, it's pretty deserving of that. It looks just as beautiful as black and white film does with the lighting and the, you know, the softness, but with this very smooth color added to it. I relate it to the very old sepia portraits that were hand colored. They were all just shot on either, you know, black and white or sepia film, and they were just drawn, and the blues really looked like a painting blue because it really was pretty much almost painted on. And this, when I saw this the other day, I was like, yes, this is those colors. This is, this looks like those portraits, but now they're moving, and they're, they're, in, they're in moving pictures. Fucking brilliant. Uh, I just fell in love with this. I just, re I really fell in love with this. And all color aside, the movie itself is really good too. Really good writing, it's funny, it's witty, the story is really entertaining. It's just a really, really good film. So watch this movie on the biggest screen possible. It's awesome, and it looks amazing. You know, I really want to see Umbrellas of Cherbourg again right now. 